10 Ways to Kill Bacteria in Your Mouth and Stop Bad Breath Somewhere between 35% and 45% of people suffer from bad breath at some point during their day. Americans spend around $10 billion a year on oral hygiene products. Luckily, we know how to combat bad breath like a ninja. Even better, you can use things you probably already have in your home. Listen up, and don't let your love for spicy burritos affect your relationships. Before we give you a chance to get beautifully fresh breath, take a moment to subscribe to our channel, turn on post notifications to keep up with us. Number 10. Use natural mouthwashes and breath fresheners. Why spend a fortune on buying every new oral hygiene product when you can use cheaper, natural alternatives? Try chewing on fresh mint leaves. Toothpaste and chewing gum smell like mint for a reason. It's fresh and strong. You can never be sure how much of the real thing is actually in all of those chemical products, but chewing on it does give you a 100% guarantee. Parsley is another option to chew on since it's rich in chlorophyll, and that will work its freshening magic as well. Spices like cloves, cardamom, and fennel seeds are excellent at fighting mouth odor. Cloves and cardamom both have antibacterial properties, just what you need to kill the source of that stinking odor. Chewing on fennel will aid saliva production and combat any nasty mouth bacteria. One teaspoon should be enough for the job. Baking soda, that magical powder you use to make your cakes pump up, is another natural mouthwash that is readily available. Simply dissolve a teaspoon of baking soda in a cup of water and then use it to rinse your mouth. You can also dip your wet toothbrush into baking soda before brushing your teeth. Number 9. Drink at least 0.5 gallons of water every day. We're talking about the good old water your mama told you to get enough of. And she was absolutely right. Keeping yourself hydrated has many health benefits. And avoiding bad breath is just one of them. Saliva prevents bacterial growth, and water is needed to keep the salivary glands working efficiently. Drinking water is paramount when it comes to preventing the bacterial growth and bad breath caused by inadequate moisture and saliva in the mouth. Avoid sugary juices at night because they can aid bacterial buildup during the night. Number 8. Try herbal teas. If water sounds too boring, spice things up with natural teas. Make green tea your best friend after water. The antioxidant army in it will easily beat the bacteria troops in your mouth. Three to five cups daily should have just the right amount of military units in them. If you want to experiment and brew your tea from less conventional sources, try boiling fenugreek seeds in a cup of water and consuming it once a day until you get some odor relief. Fennel tea and dried sage brewed in hot water for five to 10 minutes will also do the trick. Number seven, watch what you eat. Tale as old as time, true as it can be. You probably heard that you are what you eat. And you might disagree with it, but your breath definitely smells of what you eat. So keep it under control. Some foods are known to cause bad breath, so it's best to avoid them if you want your mouth to smell minty fresh. Onions and garlic are the most common culprits when it comes to causing bad breath. But remember not to do away with onions entirely, as research shows that eating onions in moderation kills four different strains of bacteria that can cause tooth decay and gum disease. Also, avoid foods that are high in fructose and acids, as they encourage bacterial growth. If you are hungry, try eating apples or some yogurt. Apples contain heteropolysaccharide pectin, a beneficial component known to stimulate saliva production. The active cultures in yogurt help reduce bacteria in the mouth. Number 6. Experiment with essential oils. We've all seen those toothpaste ads promising a 100% natural product, but can we trust them? Not only are they not exactly purely organic, but they could also kill the friendly bacteria while trying to combat the bad guys in your mouth. Essential oils come to the rescue to make this fight just and restore the microbial balance. You can try gargling with peppermint essential oil or using clove or orange oil diluted in water for dental emergencies. A few drops of tea tree oil even can go directly onto your toothbrush, together with your normal toothpaste. Eucalyptus essential oil helps reduce the production of mucus and boosts your immune system, while also acting as a pain reliever. Nature has all the solutions you're looking for, just use them wisely. Number 5. Scrape your tongue. Do you brush your teeth regularly? How about properly? Okay, okay, we trust you. No need to grin. But do you ever scrape your tongue? As awkward as it may sound, it does make sense and is essential for oral hygiene. Your tongue can be a breeding ground for smelly bacteria. After you brush your teeth, use your toothbrush to scrape your tongue of any bacteria, byproducts from the bacteria, or plaque. You can also use a tongue scraper for this. 
Number four, brush twice a day and floss once. Brush your teeth for two minutes twice a day and floss at least once. According to a survey published by the American Dental Association, only a little over 55% of women brushed twice a day. The percentage of men doing so was even lower, at just 49%. Brushing and flossing help to remove trapped food and odor-causing bacteria from the mouth. We don't know why Vivian in Pretty Woman was so embarrassed about her dental floss. She should have been proud of it. Number three, keep your gums healthy. Bacteria gathers in pockets at the base of the teeth, which creates an odor. Gum diseases are known to cause bad breath. To keep your gums healthy, choose toothpaste that contains fluoride. In case you've been looking for another good reason to quit smoking, here it is. Smoking weakens your immune system and is strongly associated with the onset of gum-related problems. More than that, smoking makes it more difficult for your gums to heal once they've been damaged. Number two, try breathing exercises. As we already know, you have certain bad bacteria to blame for a less than attractive odor coming from your mouth. They thrive without oxygen, and so getting enough of it the right way can help combat the problem. Can there be a wrong way to get oxygen? Yes, there can be. The proper way to get oxygen into your system is through your nose, not through your mouth. Your nasal passages produce nitric oxide, which helps the delivery of oxygen to your cells. When you breathe through your mouth, cold, dry air goes into your lungs and your body gets less of it. Saliva flow also decreases and unwanted bacteria get right into your mouth and throat. When you breathe through your mouth during sleep, you can often wake up with the morning breath that makes you want to cover your mouth before you talk to any other humans. Some people also tend to breathe through their mouth during the day. The good news is that there is a solution. You can try breathing exercises to train yourself to breathe only through your nose. Hold your tongue behind your front teeth, take a deep breath through your nose so that you can feel your belly rise. Breathe in for three seconds, and then slowly let it out for four seconds. It will only take two to three minutes of your time every day, but it will give you impressive results. Number one, chew fruit peel. Rinse the peel of a citrus fruit, a lemon or orange will do, before popping it into your mouth to chew. It will not only give your breath a burst of freshness, but the citric acid will also encourage your salivary glands to work more efficiently. Saliva is the mouth's natural defense against bad breath and tooth decay causing plaque acids. Have you ever tried any of these methods? Do you know of any other ways to fight bad breath? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.